an enormous magma ocean once blanketed our planet, and it may have had a big role in the birth of the moon. That's according to an exciting new study, which claims half of the lava pool was fired into space during a collision with another planet. Scientists in Japan reckon their theory solves a century-long feud over how our rocky neighbor came to be. Experts have long believed the violent process began when a rogue, Mars-sized planet called Thea smashed into Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. This threw up clouds of material that gravity later fused together to form the Moon. But analysis of moon rocks carried back to Earth by astronauts tell a different story. They seem to show that our natural satellite has a composition extraordinarily similar to Earth's, with little to no sign of Thea's chemical fingerprints. This throws serious doubt on the collision theory, as if Thea really did bump into Earth, there should be huge chunks of it stuck in the moon. Now experts at the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology claim to have solved the conundrum using a new set of simulations. In these computer models, Thea hit an Earth completely covered by a magma ocean instead of the solid planet we know today. The magma would splash into space far more easily than solid rock, throwing up a huge cloud of material that would later become the moon. The magma would eventually solidify to form rocky crusts like the Earth and Moon have today. Under the simulation, the Moon formed using 70 to 80 percent of its rock from the Earth. A magma ocean could therefore explain why Moon rocks have a composition so similar to Earth rocks, while still allowing for a theolinked birth. In our model, about 80% of the moon is made of proto-earth materials, said Yale scientist Shunichiro Karato, who also worked on the research. In most of the previous models, about 80% of the moon is made of the impactor. This is a big difference, France. 